In any event, whether it's academic achievements, whether the kids do exceptionally well with ministers' awards, or whether we see the kids on stage for a drama production like The Little Mermaid, or it's the kids in the Challenge Cup, it's just a big, bit of a melting pot. Foods, or mechanics, or small engine, or aviation is one of those high interest areas for kids. And if they're hooked, those academics become a, a lot easier for kids to tackle because they're already motivated and engaged. My name is Hillary. I'm Isabel. Um, we're making apple turnovers. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Tuffo? It's going good. I think it's good to learn how to cook before going to university. I rate myself like perhaps 7.5 maybe. You know that if you're already a 7.5 out of 10, you're ahead of like 99% of people <laughs> at university, let me tell you that. I hope so. Like I heard like um, they just eat like those instant noodles most of the time, so I'm stocking up currently, but I hope to be able to like cook some good food while I'm there. <laughs> We're just heading into the fitness room. Um, the fitness room is a very busy place. We not only run fitness classes during the day where kids learn I'd say how to work out, create a workout that's going to work for them, whether they're an athlete or someone who's just trying to work to get in better shape. We have it also open after school for the kids. And then on top of that, we also have our sports academy where they get to work out at a higher level. So they create that workout that's going to benefit them and their performance for their sport itself. What do you like about it? Um, I love my principal. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to graduate. <laughs> um, it's super welcoming. Um, I find the teachers all really nice. Um, teachers stay and help you whenever you need help. We are super busy all the time with all of the different sports teams or academics, and there's a ton of travel clubs. Uh, there's the canoe trip coming up. That'll be really exciting to the Nahani. Um, there's the China trip. There's all sorts of different stuff for different people. This one makes it really hard to fall. This one simplifies it, right? Well, I think we have fantastic staff. I think we could compete with any school anywhere in Alberta because we, we follow along the Alberta curriculum. Um, I... <laughs> I think... What do you think about it, Sajon? Awesome. We try to treat the kids like young adults. So if you create that atmosphere, you want them to rise to that occasion. And in order to make that happen, they have to have pride in the place to which they're attached to. So between the respect and responsibility, you'll develop the pride. And all of a sudden, that climate creates a climate that people rise to the occasion. They push themselves to be better tomorrow than they were today. They're that well-rounded kid. They got lots of tools in their kit be ready for whatever challenges happen outside of school. I'm a licensed technician by trade. I worked at the Ford dealership here in town for over 20 years. And then I came here about six years ago and started teaching. So this truck here, we had a 2010 F-150 that had a blown engine in it. We picked up another vehicle that was in a light rollover. And uh, we basically took the body off the 2010 and completely took everything out of it and now we've got it on the 2014 chassis and we're putting it all back together. They get the opportunity to take this vehicle completely apart so it's a huge amount of experience all rolled into one project. Uh, is this not working? It's not working? What are you hoping that you might one day use these skills for? Maybe get a job in some shop or something or need to fix something on my car and I'll know how to do it. I'm really excited with for this truck to get out of here and then start it and then on the road. Did you expect when you came to school that you'd be working on fixing up a truck like this? Uh, no, I didn't expect any of this. There you go. Check out our website. Uh, follow us on Twitter. It's at SJF uh, underscore YK1. Um, check us out on the website. Uh, lots of information. There's videos about uh, our programs. There's videos that will show you a tour of the building. Uh, my email address is there. Uh, send me a message. you got questions. We'll get you uh, answered. And if you want to come and see the place, come and see it in action. That's my best advice.